Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Shevigan again here to do the quadrant score on uh, the new Nook HD Plus 9-inch tablet. So I mentioned in another video how it is a dual core. It's the uh, text instrument, it's a OMAP, TI OMAP, text instrument OMAP processor. So it's not going to have the same benchmark results as far as the uh, CPU goes or the memory, and that's where it's slow. However, hopefully we can get a, uh, a nice focus on the frames per second on the graphics section of it, because that is where uh, this definitely redeems itself. Fifty-eight frames per second there. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight, there's your average. Moving on to this section. You got the planets rotating. 55, 58, extremely respectable. I don't know how uh, familiar you are with, uh, and this especially, see this DNA strand running at 58. That is spectacular. This is extremely fast because that usually takes the most out of your GPU, your graphics processing unit. So here we go, your device, 3198. Not bad, not bad. So we can see really what what uh, excels on this device. Uh, it, it's not so much the, the blue right there, that's the CPU. The red is the memory. So actually the memory is a large chunk. So we, it does have a nice speedy memory. And then the 2D and 3D uh, are the very last chunk right there, the yellow bits. So that's really nice. And the next bit I want to run here for you guys is the SunSpider JavaScript benchmark. Now this is considered by many reviewers to be the, the benchmark to look at because overall uh, what that uses is your overall hardware because you, you do run off of Java just like everything else. That is Android. So it shows the complete processing unbiased uh, whether it's an iOS device or it's an Android device. So we'll let this play itself out and I'll stop the, uh, and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so I actually went ahead, went back. Uh, if you notice, I had pushed uh, 9, 9.0, I believe, but it was the wrong version. So I went back and I did the current SunSpider version. And if you, to give you an idea again, SunSpider is an overall um, result for uh, your your typical processing power within Java applications, which again, everything runs off of. To give you an example, the, it's right there, the um, Galaxy Note 2 does this in about 1050, the lower the better, by the way. Uh, Galaxy Note 2 does this in 1050. The uh, Galaxy Note tablet, which I have, did it in 1300 or 1250, I believe. The Galaxy S2, that's obviously an older phone, it did this in 1500. So at 1132, that is very respectable. The only thing that actually uh, is extremely low, I think it sets the standard right now, it is of course the iPhone 5, it sets a 958, but I haven't overclocked my Galaxy Note 2 yet, so I believe I can get there from 1000. But here you go, 1132 as a SunSpider result, that is spectacular. All right, well, that's it. If you have any other requests on something else you want me to do with this baby, leave it in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, please, thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.